time to start my day. Morning abs. Who doesn't love morning abs? You are watching a day in the life of Mackenzie. How I do it, running a business with three kids, training for NPC as a type 1 diabetic. You are watching it. So the first thing I do is wake up and brush my teeth, which I just did, and make this bed. Ta-da! It is a Monday and usually I wake up and get Gannon ready for school and take him to school and then come home and start all this, but it is spring break. Something I go through about six times a day is stabbing my finger to make it bleed to check my blood sugar. 181. It should be a little bit lower in the morning, but for a type 1 diabetic and for me, someone who struggles with ice, I'm pretty happy with that. Then I go for my other first stab of the day, four units of Novolog insulin. And what I do is I push my arm up against uh, the my knee, stab myself, and inject the insulin. I also take this in my butt, so I transform. I do shot one here, shot two here, shot three in this butt cheek, shot four in this butt cheek, and then I have a night shot that I just kind of take uh, wherever I choose. So I try to rotate it, or I will get insulin knots, and you don't want insulin knots. So now I start my morning cardio, and this is my NPC planner. This morning I'm running. On Monday I do one mile timed and I try to get it faster every morning so I'm getting ready to go outside and run one mile as fast as I can. On Tuesday and Thursdays I do sprints or stadiums. On Wednesdays I run a 5k and I time that as well. And on Friday I just kind of run as long as I can. I like to take the kids on like even I'll do like a 10 mile bike ride with the kids too. So I don't always get to do morning cardio. If my uh, morning fasting blood sugar is over 250, then it is not good to do uh, to do any kind of workout. It actually makes it go higher, which I discovered the hard way. I do this run on an empty stomach, and I even go home and do a cardio hit before I do my first workout. So I eat my last meal at 7 o'clock, and then I don't eat again the next day until 11. And if I eat past 7, then I don't eat until noon. It seems to balance out my blood sugars better. Everyone has their own beliefs on intermediate fasting. But for me, going 16 hours without eating and then eating all my meals in that small time frame has worked for me. And I've tried everything under the moon and the sun at this point. All right, time to start. One mile, getting my timer ready. Mom, music on, let's go. Still slow, and I still hate running. My mom and my sister are gonna watch this video and laugh. I come from a family of marathon runners, but me and my other sister, we could work out all day, but that running crap, ugh. So yeah, they're like, oh, today I'm gonna go on a short run of 16 miles and I'm like, oh, I just ran a mile as fast as I can. I do want to compete in a 10K and then a half marathon. I don't know if I'll ever do a marathon. I'd have to keep like snacks out my side and check my blood sugar every six miles and be tough on a type one body, but there's plenty of type ones out there who do it. But I run because I know it's good for me. I wish I enjoyed it. If you know anything about my Body by Mac business, you know that I host one healthy meal a week and three online workouts a week. You can subscribe at bodybymac.com, but I'm getting ready to go in and for my cardio host the heart cardio class. But I am going to be, oh, the lighting, I'm going back out here. I am going to be on a special someone's podcast. I've been invited to, so I'm actually going to go record that and then host the workout and then I get to do my first meal of the day. And guess what? You guys get to go shopping with me. How much water do I drink in a day and how much should you drink in a day? I drink a full gallon, which is three of these, or I'll do eight water bottles. And it's so important that you get your water in. It flushes out all the bad toxins in your body. It's good for your skin. It's good for your health. It's good for weight loss. It's good for all kinds of things. 
For mill one, I do old fashioned 100% whole grain oats, which I need to buy more of these at the store. And then I do two tablespoons of PB2, some frozen blueberries, and some raspberries love this stuff because I do not eat regular peanut butter like ever because there's so many calories in one tablespoon and I cannot eat just one tablespoon. I have to have a lot. So there's 85% less fat and calories in this peanut butter powder. Look how yummy. And now the three kids are up and bathed and clean. Can you guys say hi? Hi. This is Jaxie. Tell them how old you are. Four. And Jaxie dressed herself, which is why she doesn't match. This is Bronx. How old are you, Bronx? One? One. <laughs> how old are you, bub? Uh, I'm six and I'm grumpy. This is the time where I spend an hour out of each day to clean, whether it's tidy up, do laundry, whatever. Here's my cute little office. I spend a lot of time right here at this desk on this laptop. It's outside of my bedroom. And this time, at this time, my kids are going to clean. Bronx is supposed to be taking a nap. Gannon's cleaning. We'll see how good his room looks. He's got a pet turtle down there. <laughs> and Jaxie's cleaning her room. When I come back, is your room going to be clean? <laughs> Look at that room, guys. You're so good. Just finished all my orders and oh my gosh it's already been two hours when you do NPC prep instead of eating like when you're hungry or one giant meal at night <laughs> that's so unhealthy you eat every two hours it's like you're always eating and I have alarm set that's how specific I am with my meals so here's to meal two get in clean the downstairs too he is such a good boy I love you Thank you. So before I do meal two, here's another routine blood sugar check number two so that I know how much insulin to take because if it's low, then I won't take as much. And if it's higher, then I need more insulin. 273. Here's the deal, guys. My body never does the same thing. It's been so good the past two weeks, but I'm getting ready to start. As much as I don't want to talk about this, my hormones are changing, my body is changing, and this is why I always check it because I didn't feel like it was that high. And now I can take two units of a correction dose on top of my six units that I usually take. I'm taking it in this side of my leg. There's eight units. I hold it in, and now I have to wait 15 minutes to eat because insulin timing is everything. Here is the cardio class I hosted. It's so fun. I did this with towels. You guys will have to go to bodybymac.com and subscribe. Because we use some fun tools. You don't need to buy anything right from your living room. $6 a month. It was a lot of fun. Good job, Jaxie. Good job. I love the way she makes that bed. Let's make a protein smoothie. This is what I do after I do my cardio in the morning. Meal number two. I use a vegan plant-based protein powder, organic greens powder. I use this V8 greens juice and then frozen fruits and veggies. So you have to have a juice. Pick a healthy juice. And I buy these detox rocks. They come in individual packages. You can and frozen avocados are a must. It makes it like creamy, almost ice cream. I'll show you guys when I blend. Watch how thick this is. Look at that. It's like turns into ice cream because of the frozen fruit and the avocado making it creamy. I have perfected the perfect protein smoothie.
Josh got off work early today, so he gets to stay home with the boys, and me and Jaxie are going to go grocery shopping. We just arrived, and I'm already about to pee my pants. One downside to drinking a gallon a day. Finally, we're here to get an extra workout in. 100% plant-based protein and organic greens mm. powder. Chia seed, PB fit, coconut. Can't live without my V8. Sweet potatoes, cauliflower rice, carrot, noodle, veggie burger, meatless chicken strips, and meatless ground beef. Look at that. Here are the detox rocks and all the frozen veggies I need. How much do you think we spent? Look at that. <laughs> you helping? Good job. Oh my gosh, that was exhausting. I gotta have my VA energy. Peach mango, baby. I had enough time to go shopping. And come back. Jackson wants to say hi. Mm -hmm. I'm home and it's already time for meal number three. And I was told by my husband to get one thing and <laughs> one thing only. He's a cowboy. He wanted skull. Chewing tobacco. And that's the one thing I forgot. So let's see if he... And the adventure begins. Look how cute you two are. Aww. First I'm going to make a fun, easy, cheap, and healthy snack. Whoop. Good source of protein, good source of fiber. This is reduced sodium chickpeas and hummus made easy. Rinse and clean it and dump it into here. Add this and blend. And just like that, you have hummus. You can dip a healthy option of chip in these. I love these veggie, ch veggie crisp chips made of rice, peas, black beans, and the sweet potato Chris, these are something I'm trying for the first time. Like, did you ever dream of eating chips and dip and actually being healthy? These are what these chips look like. Mmm. And my favorite and the most healthy option are these little veggie sweets. They're like little bell peppers. Literally dip them in there. Mmm. My favorite snack made a pretty good amount of hummus and I made this for two dollars I got my stuff at Walmart or you can simply buy it at Walmart but it's gonna be around six dollars now for the fun part every Monday I food prep for the week so let's get this going meal one was the oatmeal meal two was the shake meal three and four are the ones that i eat out of containers so i prep for two meals a day and then meal five is a snack which i just ate my snack meal for meal three just because of how my day played out look at this helper of mine she is cute we got broccoli cauliflower rice quinoa First two things I made were the broccoli and then I mixed this extra virgin olive oil, this ground chia seed, this quinoa, and the cauliflower rice right here all into this. Look how beautiful. I have evenly scooped up the broccoli and quinoa into four different dishes because today's Monday. I've already eaten all my meals today. The last one is in the fridge. So this is for Tuesday through Friday. Round two on the stove, we have the meatless chicken, the meatless beef, and the carrot noodles. I have flavored this meatless beef and these carrot noodles with salsa verde, and I've mixed them together. You guys, food is so beautiful. Look at that. It's all vegan, all plant-based. So we have broccoli, meatless chicken, quinoa, cauliflower rice, and we have meatless beef, carrot noodles, sweet potato, and spinach leaves. I'm sweet potato. So good. Why don't you show them what you baked tonight? 
Uh, I showed him that I baked that. He made Easter cookies. Now it's time to feed the kids. And then I have a business meeting to do with my business partner, Paige. You guys will get to meet her and then do my evening workout and eat my last meal of the day. And then we'll get ready for bed. What did you just eat? What did you just eat, boy? I want a popsicle. <laughs> So you guys may already know this is my business partner Paige. She runs Bold and Cheeky, the clothing line. So she's out of let him know about where you live and um all we're working on. Okay, so I live in San Diego, out in California, and we have a bunch of projects we're working on but our one that is coming up next i think you guys are going to be super excited do you want me to tell them about it and what it's going to be um let's make him wait because we're about to announce it but not only does Paige have an awesome not only do we have an awesome clothing line and she runs it so professional that's why I'm gonna keep her forever but we do have something exciting <laughs> coming soon for y'all we are always working on something new um, I don't know where I left off, guys, but I did not want someone to work for me to make money. I wanted someone to actually grow with me, and we got together working with just doing the Body by Mac DVDs, and now we have all kinds of projects, and the second we launch a project, oop, Paige disappeared, but I'm going to keep talking. The second we launched a project, there she is, um, we always have more ideas, like she'll call me and say, oh my gosh, let's do this idea now, let's, like we're, as soon as we launch something, we are on to the next project, and that's why I love working with her, because she has a business mindset like me, we do these online meetings um, weekly, sometimes we FaceTime daily, and we talk 24-7. <laughs> She's crazy. You guys can check out the website ran by her that we work so hard on. Not only is there the bodybymac.com website ran by my other business partner, Fallon, but the Bold and Cheeky website is ran by Paige. It is boldandcheeky.net. I'll put it in this snap and this YouTube video. Um, and you guys should go check it out. Awesome clothes. And the Move Fitness Clothing Attire is on there too. Um, we're kind of low on selections right now. We're getting ready to le relaunch from a new factory. But the clothes are awesome. It's all ran by Paige. And she is the hardest working woman I know. Blood sugar check number four of the day. I think I missed one with you guys. Oh my gosh, that means I can't work out. No, this happens to my body every time before I start. <sighs> so now I've got to take some extra insulin, poke prod all day long. And still, when you do the right thing, you get sick some days. But I promise it's not always like this. Yeah, yeah, baby. Finally got my blood sugar under 250. So now I'm going to do a quick evening workout. Every day I work a different muscle in the body. And today I'm working these bad boys. Let go. Mm -hmm. Whew. Five more rounds. Oh my goodness. Most of the time I get to go to the gym, but today it just didn't work out. Every day is different. 
It's 8.30. As you can see, Bronx is staring at me. It's about time to get the kids ready for bed. I got my NPC heels, as you know. I am 12 weeks out, so I can't wait to see my body um, reform into what I want it to be to compete bikini and possibly fitness. But I'm going to practice some posing. I'm really thinking about another V8 energy. <laughs> Come be with me. It's bedtime. Come here, baby. Where'd you go? Oh, I still have my heels on. You ready for bed? Yeah. Oh, by the way, something I forgot to snap about this morning is daily self-development. This is the book I'm doing. I read a book every two months, six books a year, because I always want to gain knowledge. I love self-development. It's so important. Things get a little wild around here at night, and I let it be so we can get our energy out, right? Right. That's what us moms do? Okay, that's what I do. Are you guys going to dance? Okay, show me your moves. Bust them out, girl. Bust them out. Bust them out. Come on, let, show me what you got or be shy. Me and the kids all just did our nightly routine of showering and getting ready for bed. And I started feeling a little shaky in the shower. And I'm afraid my blood sugar dropped, which is just what happens in the life of a diabetic, which is why it's hard to do NPC and bodybuilding as a diabetic because now I may have to eat and cheat on my intermittent fasting diet and that's gonna suck so let's see what it is 75 so not extremely low but low enough to have to eat something before bed One time I was in like three years of denial when I found out I had diabetes when I was 11. I was very angry about it and I wasn't taking care of myself the way I should. And my mom looked at me. She's like my biggest inspiration. And she said, you, or how did that go? You have diabetes, but diabetes does not have you and ever since that day I did not I no longer let it control me and I noticed like the less that I stress I mean I was crazy all over the place it was like up in the 600s and would not get out of the 600 and once I stopped stressing about it and just trusted in God and eat a healthy diet and just lived a healthy ha happy healthy life <laughs> you can tell my blood sugar is still a little low I got things more under control um, you guys saw my kids running around and wanting to do what mommy does and that's that's how I was raised my mom was always healthy she was a marathon runner and I wanted to live like her because I saw a ha happy healthy woman and so I took after her and started she created a monster really and all her kids she's got uh, my brother is a fitness coach um, his wife is a licensed dietitian my other sister has her own gym it's the gym I usually work out at her husband does strongman competition. My brother competes. Um, my other sister's a marathon runner. Like, And then I do what all I do. She created. And just by setting a good example, she never pushed it on any of us. And I'm so thankful to be surrounded by this. And if you aren't, I'm sorry, but I do want to encourage you. If you have kids or friends, you can start with you and set a good example. Of course, there's stuff that happens in other days that you guys didn't get to see today. This is just one day of my life, but I hope this inspired you or helped you kind of see how I live my life and or if you were just kind of curious to see what I do and how I do it. This is, you know, the basics. I live for Body by Mac business, um, bold and cheeky with Paige, my husband, my family, for God and fitness i this is my happy place the last time i show prepped i was on a ketogenic diet so all i was eating was chicken and broccoli chicken and broccoli i couldn't have any carbs i will tell you i didn't like it i was miserable i don't like the ketogenic diet i switched over to plant-based and i was totally against it i was against plant-based like 
hardcore. I thought it was stupid, but I started following these type 1 diabetics and these fitness models that went vegan. And I, you know, sometimes I'll make a mistake of like taking a bite of Greek yogurt or sometimes I'll eat a hard boiled egg. And I know that's not vegan, but for the most part, I have went, um, almost purely plant-based as you saw my diet was a lot of it was plant-based but I also am a flexitarian but ever since I switched I didn't have to raise my insulin I'm actually taking the same amount of insulin eating far more carbs being more flexible with my diet not miserable I'm not hungry and get this on the ketogenic diet I was eating half of the meals you guys saw me prep today not half the meals half the portion that you guys I'm totally I'm talking to you guys in my towel (laughs) this is probably the most organic raw short documentary of my life and I'm just like this is it this is real life but anyways where was I I get to eat a lot more and I'm full and I weigh less than I did the last time I was show prepping by the end of show prep it's like It's truly amazing how much better I feel and look going from a meat, 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 ketogenic diet, the paleo paleo diet, to a more plant-based vegan diet and just being happy, not stressing. I feel like if you're living in stress, if you're unhappy, if you're depressed, if you're struggling largely with anxiety your body's not going to um, respond and so if you're wanting to go on a fitness journey and look better fix yourself first and then start because you're not going to like the way your body is responding with that hard work and it's not fair for those around you to see you in stress I'm just uh, that's why I waited until I was stress free to start training because when you're stressed, your body releases a hormone that can make you gain weight, even if you're doing all the right things. I'm a pretty girl. Are you a pretty girl? You're a gorgeous girl. You want to say our nightly prayers? Yes. You want to pray? I wish we can um, go to the and I wish I not stay the night. I wish I can um, um, brush my teeth there. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. She wishes she could go to Nanny's <laughs> and stay the night. I love you. Dear Jesus, take care of my beautiful girl and always protect her and let her know that she is so important. In your name I pray. Amen passed out Gannon and Josh are downstairs I put the baby to bed and I'm waiting for them to come be with me they're like best buds especially now that Gannon's getting older he loves his daddy but one thing that I really want to cover in this video is so many people are like I can't find the motivation to work out I don't have the motivation how do you stay motivated let me tell you something Okay, if you are only going to work out when you're motivated, if I were to only work out when I, when I am motivated, I would work out maybe three times a month on a bad month or once a week. You can't go off of motivation or you'll never you'll never get there. You'll never get anywhere. When motivation kicks out, self-discipline has to kick in. You have to be self-disciplined. You have to do it no matter what. And last but not least, if you don't know the story about my mother, you saw a picture of Jaxie and her sitting on the chair, which ah, I just love when she's with my kids. Um, My mom was a healthy person, never smoked, never drank, never made unhealthy decisions. And all of a sudden, she has over 40 masses in her lungs, one being larger than an orange and stage four lung cancer that has traveled to the brain masses everywhere um i'm just getting to where i can talk about it and here is something the doctors told her that will stick with me forever they said most people with this they they only make it a couple of months but what you have going for you that no one else that we see in here is how extremely healthy you are and you didn't just start a healthy journey last week or last month you have lived You have lived a healthy lifestyle, and for that, I have high hopes for you and healing. 
So it just goes to show no matter how much we take care of our bodies, I was a healthy kid. My mom raised me healthy. I didn't drink pop every day. I didn't eat candy every day. I have type 1 diabetes. It's going to happen, but it's how you live. And I truly believe her body is going to react a hundred, a thousand, a million times better than it would have had she not lived the healthy lifestyle her whole life that she did. And for that, her husband, her kids, we are so thankful. As you can see, these are my three daily best friends to stay alive. <laughs> so this is what you guys have been seeing me take all day. This is what I take with every meal. Um, this is a short-acting insulin, so it only stays in the system for three hours. And this is my night shot. It's a 24-hour insulin that keeps things like leveled out, and I take it every night before bed, 12 units, so last shot of the day. And to end my day, I get to go to bed to the world's most handsome man, my adorable husband.